Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Nikki and in today's video, I will be sharing with you what I spent in a week living in Atlanta. So let's get right into it. So the dates that we're going to be referring to are the 13th of May all the way up until the 19th of May. That's going to be a full week for me. My pay period actually starts on a Saturday and ends on Friday. So I just went with that as my full week. So let's get right into the 13th and the 14th, which were both no spend days. I didn't have anything coming out of my account. However, I did receive some money on the 14th because that was actually Mother's Day. So yay for me now the 15th of may starting with the most important transactions which were my bills and gas and things like that so on the 15th i actually got gas i always fill up my gas tank on sundays um that just works better for me it's just the way that i start off the week it doesn't matter if i'm on e or if i have a um half tank of gas i'm always gonna go and get gas on sunday and just fill the tank all the way up so on sunday i spent 52 dollars and 76 cent at the gas station i also paid my credit card bill and that was 53 dollars for my discover card i also paid for a comedy show that i'm going to in september um we wanted to go ahead and purchase our tickets right away and that was 60 dollars I also got ice because I work outside, y'all. So I be needing ice for my cooler. And that was $3.49. And that was all of the bills that actually came, or that was all of the expenses that actually came out of my bill and expenses account. Now for my fun money, y'all know I only had $92.59 of fun money Um, this pay period because what I do with my checking account basically I separate my money into three different accounts so I have a bill and expense account I have a savings account and then whatever is left over from my paycheck goes into a spending account that money is for me I can do whatever I want to do with that money and that is in that spending account and that's pretty much what I do I have fun with it I more so eat it but I have fun this time with it as well so my first purchase with my $92.59, I went to a sneaker tea party, you guys, and I'm so glad that I did. I met some dope female that shared like-minded content because we all love sneakers. So we were all taking pictures. We were all doing content at the sneaker tea party or whatever. And it was just like a, a really dope vibe. I went by myself. So my ticket was $33.85. That was a big chunk of my $92, but I had a great time. It was hosted by Soul Play Her. So if you are not following them on Instagram, I will leave their information down below in the description box. And yeah, like like maybe you can come out to the next event i'm looking forward to the next event it's supposed to be an event coming up in june and in july so be on the lookout for those sneaker events if you are into sneakers and want to be around like-minded people that are into the same thing that you are into so that was my fun money purchase on the 15th of may now the 16th of may i had to pay for my son aftercare um, fees his payments are due every Monday and it's sixty dollars where he's at so I paid for that I also made another credit card purchase I mean not purchase I made another credit card payment from for my merit credit card and that was thirty nine dollars then I made two extra payments on one of my discover cards and then one on the navy federal credit card so with the discover card i ate, i made an extra payment of two hundred dollars and then on my navy federal credit card i made an extra payment of 250 dollars. for those that do not know i'm trying to get out of debt my goal is to become debt free in five years or less i'm on year three going on year four year four will be in um november so um basically i have put a pause on my student loans and i just have been focusing on just getting out of my credit card debt because i'm trying to purchase a home and to be honest my student loan stuff is basically really helping me i'm doing really good with my student loan payments um even though there's no payments there but it's looking really good on my credit report showing that it's in good standing it's the thing that i had the longest 
um, that's been reported on my credit report. So it looks good, you guys. So as soon as I get my house, then that's when I'm gonna start attacking attacking the student loans. But for us right now, I'm just focusing on paying off all of my credit cards because they are the highest interest rate. They are costing me the most money and things like that. And I'm just tired of paying them. So that's how much I spent on extra credit card payments. Now on the 6th, 17th, I'm sorry, on the 17th of May, I went to tacos and tequila, you guys. Now, this was Taco Tuesday, so of course I went during lunchtime because the lunch, you know, the lunch menu be like the most affordable. <laughs> so that's what I did. I went to tacos and tequila because I was off of work and I spent 25 I spent $28.97, you guys. I got me three tacos. I think the tacos was like $10. I got me a margarita because why not? <laughs> and then I also left a tip. I think I left like an $8 tip at, um, during that time. So, yep, that was my total at Tacos and Tequilas of $28.97. I put that up under my food category, but in reality, I could just use that with my fun money because I also got money, you know, from my daughter for Mother's Day. So, even though I had a $92.59 um, budget from my paycheck, I actually had more because that $50 that my daughter gave me. I also sent another additional credit card payment to the Merit credit card. So I spent $39 on that. And then I paid for my cabin trip, which is $65. Me and my family are supposed to go to the cabins at the end of the year. And I'm just on like a monthly payment plan because that just works better for me to do it that way. And yeah, I sent $65 to that. Now with my fun money on the 17th, like I said, I was off of work that day. So I also create my content or batch my content on the days that i'm off so i went up to a different area this time and i had to pay for parking so it was ten dollars to park i stayed there for about like uh i would say about three four hours so it was well worth the ten dollars because i did get some a lot of content in i did get a lot of great shots and i I love the little scenery, to be honest. It was up there by the Truist Stadium. If you guys are in the Atlanta area and you are familiar or want to go to like the Atlanta Braves Stadium, it's nice little spots up there that you can just take pictures, you can eat, you can just walk around and just vibe and stuff like that. I did not know that all of that stuff was in the battery. So I'm super happy that i actually got a chance to go because now it's like it makes me want to just hang out up there very often to be honest very often because i got a lot of spots to eat and i love to eat now going into the 18th i didn't spend any money from my bill and expense account but i did spend money from my fun money so I got a Kill Me Crazy iced coffee. If you guys haven't tried it, you need to do so. They have several different locations around the Atlanta area, and that cost me $8.55. I also had a public salad and a um, pink lemonade or raspberry lemonade, and that cost me $9.35 as well. Now going into the 19th, which is our last day of the week for spending money. So out of my bills and expense account, I gave $25 to one of my Facebook friends. She was asking for um, donation for her son um, graduation because her the school that he's at basically gave them a graduation at the last moment, you know, and did not tear her until the last moment. And so she was just trying to get up as much money as she could for her son. So I donated $25 to her for that. Then also I went back to the grocery store, you guys. I, for some reason, I just stay at Walmart. And it seemed like every time that I go to Walmart, I'm always spending over $100. So groceries cost me $130.60. 66 cent on the 19th of may and then from my fun money you guys i bought a iced coffee um the frappe the starbucks frappe out of the gas station if you buy anything out of the gas station it's high i'm just gonna be honest but i just love the starbucks mocha frappe it's so delicious i like it really out of the bottle i 
don't really like it from the store i just like it out of the glass bottle so if you haven't tried it you need to try that and then i also of course got ice i get ice like every two days every other day depending on how hot it is outside if if it melts in my cooler or not so i got ice and an iced coffee and that cost me seven dollars and 93 cents now i'm just gonna add up everything to see how much i actually spent from my bills and expense account and then how much i actually spent from my fund money so let's do that right now so for my bills and expense account i spent one thousand six dollars and 88 cents that is a lot of money to be spending just for a week you guys so one thousand six dollars and 88 cents from my bills and expense account now from my fund money i spent sixty nine dollars and 68 cents you guys so from my fund money i spent sixty nine dollars and 68 cents which is not bad that's pretty much around the amount that i spend sometimes around like 50 ish dollars so this was a little on the higher upper higher end however i'm so glad that i was able to pay my bills also send money to my debt payments and have a little bit of fun that's basically what this video is all about you guys you can have fun while still being on a budget and i'm here to actually just show you guys how you could do that by getting organized with your finances and how i get organized with my finances you guys as you can see in my notebook i plan out all of my money that i get paid and i give it a job to do i know when the bills are coming out because i write it all down and i actually have this workbook available for you guys so if you are interested in just getting organized with your finances and just want to start budgeting and want to start saving and want to start having fun i have this budget workbook you guys so that you can just start writing everything down and getting organized with it i will leave it in the description box down below if this video brought you some value or if it taught you something that you did not know give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel you guys i post the videos over here weekly sometimes two times a week week um and yeah and i will catch you guys in the next video bye